I'm Lindsay Gensel at the National Sports Center in Blaine. The rain didn't damper the celebration as Simone Broccolello put in a goal in the 70th minute on a penalty kick to put Minnesota United up 1-0. They're sitting at the top of the North American Soccer League leaderboard after the New York Cosmos lost. They've got nine points. And here are your highlights from tonight's 1-0 win over FC Edmonton. They'll switch the field over to Addie Edward. And cross partially blocked by Watts, and out comes Van Oakle to collect it. Turns up field. Has Fordyce to his left, gives it to him. Through ball, intended for Lavity, gets to him. Good turn by Lavity. Now Yankee, top of the 18. Tries to pull it to his left foot. Fordyce, bending shot into the hands of Van Oakle. Pierce Christian Ramirez took a little bit of a shot from Moses in the. Ramirez, his bending shot, diving save by Smiths. Edward, good ball up the line for Ami Obi, who's off of his head. And Van Okel has to come out and slide for it. Ami Obi might have got a piece of him, and Diaz telling him he didn't like it. That's a tough one, because uh, it was a, kind of almost a 50-50 ball, and Matt came a little slow to it, and Diaz was trying to protect the ball, and Good ball into Ibarra. Out to Watson. Jamie Watson probably want that one back. Great crowd and this great field and this great team. Did, did they look, no, 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 no. Get out. Good. And off the line by Diaz. Back in Lavity and Diaz again. Lavity, top of the 18. Pulls it back, looking for the left peg. Amiobi tries to nip the little back heel, but that doesn't work. Cleared out by Watson. Taking that last opportunity, the Star Tribune replay. Great opportunity for Fordyce from seven yards out. Pitt Van Ogle got a piece of it, knocked it in the air, and then you see Diaz with the clearance off the line. Fordyce. Lavity has Edward open to his right, gets it to him. Edward in the corner. One time cross into the near post. And a good reaction there by Van Ogle. Ramirez taken down. Franks! Saved by Smiths. Good ball from Calvano. Works its way to Watson. Davis out of the back. Davis! Franks! Not as much hit as he, not as well hit as he wanted. Justin cuts it back. Is that Franks? Just no oomph. <laughs> Benegas on the corner. Far post, Diaz! Oh, what a save by Smiths! Ibarra, he'll chip it into the far post. Ramirez, and another save. Carl Craig gave you a little inside information on that one. Well, didn't keep up the pest like he normally is. And that was kind of my guess that uh, either Pitchcall and Franks would come out, but Pitchcall looks kind of, oh, there it is. How big was Ami Obi? And that doesn't miss the frame by much. Let's see what that can do. It's Lang with the left footed. Right there at the six. Davis touches it back. Rockalolo. And a penalty. The referee points to the spot. It's going to be a penalty kick for United. Second touch by Broccolello. And he slots it away. One nothing. United. Watch the morning step. He sees where he wants to go. United kind of sitting back a little bit. You know, defending is a side volley tried there by Yankee. Goes side netting of the rain falling in the lights. As Yankee now pushes it forward. This is supposed to start a uh, about three or four, five days of rain here in Minnesota. Starting tonight, good cross in. Great opportunity for Ami Obi. Kind of, it just hit him. Matt could have come out and gotten that one. Tough one. See, Pitch Colin got a piece of it and dinged it off of Ami Obi. And there it is, the whistle from the referee ends the game here. And Minnesota United FC remains undefeated, defeating FC Edmonton 1-0.
Oh, I just think it was uh, it was a good game. They played really well, but I, I thought at times we kept our shape. We got, I, I don't think we created as many chances I would have liked. But again, the guys put a great shift in. And, and to get the shutout at home, would have liked to see more goals. But we just really, really held it well and uh, got the win. Be sure to join us Saturday, May 3rd for the second home game of the season when Indy 11 comes to town for the first time ever. Tickets start as low as $15 and you can find more information at mnunitedfc.com. For Minnesota United, I'm Lindsay Gensel.